The replacement of the ferry landers will be completed within a span of one month, during which ferry services from Banjul to Barra and vice versa will be temporarily halted until construction works complete. Hali Abdullahi Gai is the Deputy Managing Director of the Gambia Ports Authority. He gives justification for the replacement of the landers, which on many occasions have caused travel delays and sometimes poses threats to the lives of travelers due to breakdowns. These rams uh, that we are currently using were constructed in 1977. Uh, and then they were given a, fair, a facelift in 2007. But now they are due for, overdue for replacement. Management, the managing director, and uh, the management team, we sat down and uh, listed among our priorities. So we engaged Diamond CBR to construct new landers, which was uh, precure, and now they were shipped and they are in town. The works will take a uh, maximum period of one month, so we therefore think it is better to hold it in August, because uh, in the month of July we have two and Tobaski is a major movement of demand, whether vehicles, people, and it will be, not be a wise decision to, to do the works whilst, uh, you know, Tobaski is around the corner. According to DMD Guy, due to the presence of large sand deposits in Barra, the smooth movement of ferries is hindered, thus the need to dredge the area thereby avoiding further damages to ferry engines. Uh, we have uh, three ferries currently, Johe, Kunta Kinte and Kanilai. But uh, they are sometimes restricted by tides. If during high tide, uh, Kanilai can load trucks, 40 ton trucks. But during low tide, Kanilai cannot load them. Because if it loads them, it will drag. So for that matter, uh, it's a lot of cost to us whenever Kanilai drags the SRP is gone, or, uh, you know, other things, you know, that affects the, that has impact on the engine. So this is a lot of cost to us. And uh, the importance of dredging becomes paramount. As soon as work commences, the Trans-Gambia Bridge has been identified as an alternative route to get to the northern part of the country or to the Greater Banjul area. A successful completion of works is expected to ease crossing from and to either sides of the river, cut down maintenance costs, as well increased daily revenue. For Paradise TV News, Lamin Fowl.